Hello. This is Ginger Snap, a conversation that cookie with a creative mainer. It's episode 40, and I'm here in is this West Bath? This is Quaker Point, West Bath, yes. Quaker Point, West Bath. Mm -hmm. Yeah. On we, the New Meadows River. On the New Meadows River. But we're not gonna tell you where. Because no, because <laughs> we've just given away the whole location. <laughs> that wouldn't be a good idea. Yeah. So anyway, I'm here with one of my new favorite authors. Morgan Callan Rogers, and um, she wrote both of these books. Oh, it's going to be backwards, but pay no attention. And see, I still have my bookmark because I'm not quite done with this one. I'm almost done. These are beautiful books, and I love them, and I recommend them. Thank you, Elizabeth Ross Holmstrom, for introducing me to these books. Yes, definitely. Thank you, Elizabeth Ross Holmstrom, yeah. for introducing these books. <laughs> so. These have gotten incredible reviews, and they're beautiful books and beautiful stories, and they put you in a really specific place, which I really, really love. Mm -hmm. um, so you just had a recent reading in Bath. I did. Yes. Yes, I did. Yeah. Uh, at the Mustard Seed. Mm -hmm. uh, it was, uh, it's funny reading in a place where you were brought up, because there were just places, you know, like, I could point to the first row and say family, <laughs> studio theater bath, Morris High School, mm -hmm. ex-boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Stalker. No. Stalker. Yeah. <laughs> All that sort of fun. Where's your next one? Uh, actually, it's in Bath. It's at the Patent Free Library. Okay. Mm -hmm. So more of your friends and next friends Tuesday. And will, will next will Tuesday, there. Patent Free Library. If you missed me at the Mustard Seed, I'd love to see you at the Patent Free Library. All so, right. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. Okay. Well, so what is your? Well, they'll find out um, about you if they if they come to a reading too. But your main your love story with Maine mm -hmm. that began. Along. That began I when I was a kid. <laughs> well, when I was a kid, and um, actually this place we're at right now was a place to imagine and to have fantasies and just to sort of roam through the woods and mm -hmm. go down by the water and just sort of absorb without really knowing mm -hmm. you're absorbing. And right. uh, so I, we had Irish setters back then, mm -hmm. and we just used to walk everywhere, you know, and uh, I would just be in another world, and uh, I started mm -hmm. writing about horses when I was eight on this porch, and... Yeah. Wow. And I went to rock stars. Mm -hmm. Yep. And so it, yeah. you can't tell, but the water is right out there. And it's we're right sitting um, cozy next to um, a big record collection. You Huge. know, I used to have 300 albums, LPs. For you oh, wow. young people, that's an <laughs> LP. <laughs> They're gone now, but anyway. I lo I feel Actually, like vinyl's very, coming back. Vinyl is kind of coming yes, back. I feel very comforted being surrounded by... My albums. I do too. I yeah. do too. So, do you think you're in Maine to stay? This is this is your home base now. This is where my family is. Yeah. You know, my mm -hmm. sister and my parents, um, my brother when he comes back, um, mm -hmm. my cousins, a lot of my cousins. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's I'm a Mainer. Yeah. No matter where I go, I'm always going to be a Mainer. I'm always going to come back. And mm -hmm. do you suck in? Yeah. When you say my grandmother did, she went, yeah. sucked in. No. You know the yeah. <laughs> Oh. Well, I heard that was a, that was actually that that it came is. to yeah, Maine because yeah, yeah. a lot of a lot of Mainers do that, you know. And she did that, and that I, I heard it sort of came from a Swedish or a Norwegian um, origin. Really? Yeah. Well, we're Irish, so we didn't say that. Right. We didn't I'm do Irish that. We too. just kind of went, you know, like, yep. Just shrugged your shoulders. Yep. Yeah. Or if you're my father's family, you'd go. <laughs> you'd shake first and then nod and then, <laughs> you know, just sort of, and the lips. You get a pursed lips. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> Good. That's yeah. great. All right. Well, uh, do you know your first word? Mama. Mama. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a good I used to stand word. in my crib and say, Mama. Mama. I was a very good baby. I bet you were. Good. I was an incredibly <laughs> good baby. And then my sister came along. Uh-oh. And my sister was not a good baby. So it was a good thing that I was. Is your sister listening? Yes, I hope so. She her, knows. What's her name? She's proud of it. <laughs> What are your sister's names? <laughs> My sister, I have one sister. Her name is uh, Mary. Mary. And um, if you know me at all, you probably know who Mary is. Mm -hmm. She's mm -hmm. uh, she's the opposite of me, but she's uh, she's kind of uh, a life force, mm -hmm. which is what I wrote about in these mm -hmm. books. These are people mm -hmm. who are in life. Yeah, I won't, yeah. Whereas as a writer, I'm mm -hmm. often um, traveling, time traveling, mm -hmm. or I'm in other worlds, and mm -hmm. you know. So to come back to this world and watch somebody actually function in the real mm -hmm. world mm -hmm. and take it, you know, seriously mm -hmm. and do it well, mm -hmm. I admire that. Yeah. And my sister's one of those. Mm. Well, your character Grand really, uh, really reminds me. Not, I mean, not in every way, but by grandmother Honey, 
We, everyone oh, everyone called name. her honey. Yeah. And she really, she was such a strong presence and such a, you know, she was, she lived to be 105, <gasps> which is crazy. And, wow. um, but she had, she had very strong, a very strong personality and a very strong presence, but also just a real sweetness, um, in the world. And, uh, anyway, when I, when I'm reading your books and, and grand, I also just love that the, the name for, yeah. for a character. Uh -huh. I, you know, I have honey sort of. Oh, there in my that's mind so great. Yeah. I'm glad yeah. I could remind you of something yeah. really lovely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So cookie was my first <laughs> word. <laughs> so we're going to... Seriously, was it? Yeah. Oh. I looked at my baby book and I saw... <laughs> cookie? <laughs> cookie! <laughs> okay, so these are the chocolate... Please. Oh, thank um, you. Yes, we're going to... Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, I don't want to enjoy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is the part where we make noises. <laughs> this will do. Mm-hmm. 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 How long do we get to sit here and eat them? Well, I can. I'll start talking again as soon as I. Mmm. Mm -hmm. So these are great. These are from the Union Street Cafe. I, I said it wrong again. The Union Street Bakery and Cake Shop. Mm -hmm. It's new-ish, and um, yeah. So thank you for the. Where is this in Brunswick? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's on Union Street. Mm. This is a really good cookie. This mm, is how a chocolate chip cookie. Cookie. cookie should be. It's mm -hmm. soft and mm -hmm. chewy and. Mm. Very chocolatey. Melt in your mm -hmm. mouth cookie. Mm -hmm. It's good stuff. All right. So thank you for that. So, Morgan, when you were a kid, did you guys have a car that you really loved? And if you could get back, you would? Um, we had cars. Did I love the car? You don't have to. You can just say no. pass. Pass? <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. We had, a, we had a station wagon where we used to stick my youngest brother in the back seat. Where, you know, we'd have to smack him around and make sure he wasn't dying of fumes. <laughs> <laughs> He'd stagger right. out wherever we came to. Him, you know. but we had something called the blue car. It was a very old 1940s car. Mm -hmm. It was big and blue. Mm -hmm. And um, I remember uh, us trying to get up a hill in this blue car. <laughs> and it wasn't going. And my, I remember my brother <laughs> standing in the back seat. We're never going to make it! <laughs> As if that's where we're going to be for the rest of our lives, you know. We're stuck on a hill in the blue car. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, blue car. <laughs> yeah. So. Mm. So, as an author, you must be a voracious reader. Yep. Yeah. I am voracious. <laughs> I'm a voracious cookie eater. I know I shouldn't assume that, but I'm just thinking. <laughs> um, is there a book? Um, well, you can, because you're an author, you can answer this however you want. But um, is there a book that you have read again and again in your life? Are, are there books you, you recommended recently? Just, you know. I would, uh, I've would. i read uh, A Prayer for Owen Meany mm. by John Irving mm -hmm. twice. That's a great uh, book. I really like John Irving a lot because he knows how to take huge, life-changing moments and crystallize them into these little tiny seconds. Mm. Because um, I was talking to some students today about how the big things in our lives happen in these tiny moments, mm -hmm. you know, heartbreak, a birth, a death, uh, a mm -hmm. friendship, uh, you know, mm -hmm. and um, they're not usually, thank God, explosions that you're, right. that tell you, you know, that there's music up in the sky going, da 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 <laughs> It's like, the Clouds you know, don't always part. No, they do not. <laughs> it's usually these little tiny moments and yeah. he's so good at that. You just mm -hmm. kind of like, Twist your emotions. Mm -hmm. I like that about him. Um, hmm. I liked The Lord of the Rings when mm -hmm. I was young. Although, mm -hmm. you know, having read it as an adult, I still love it, but there weren't enough parts for girls in, the, mm -hmm. in his books. No. <laughs> you know, but I, I always wanted to be an elf. So mm -hmm. I don't think I would have been an elf, though. Mm -hmm. you know, I would have been probably a ranger, not a hobbit. No, not not a hobbit. No hobbit. Just if you're making notes out there about Morgan, not a hobbit. You, you know, <laughs> if you're going to put me in this book, I'm going to be a ranger. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's good to know. Yeah. All right. Since we're sitting by music, and I mean, I asked this anyway, but is there a song or an album that you, that or a couple that you have listened to again and again in your life? That you... oh, all the time. Yeah. Um, when I was a teenager, The Who hmm. put out an album called Sell Out. And it was, uh, it had, uh, I can see for miles on it. Mm -hmm. um, it had um, a song called, uh, 
oh, Boris the Spider. It was this it was this compilation of weird songs. It was supposed mm-hmm. to be partly BBC radio commercials and these songs. Hmm. And uh, I listened to that until I wore it out. Uh, it saved my life as a teenager. It was just so wow. awesome. I love the Who. Mm-hmm. Um, now, <laughs> now I keep playing Uptown Funk. <laughs> oh, no. It's not very, it's not very uh, heady, but you know it gets me from one place to another. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> Bump. yeah. Cool. So, yeah, it's not. <laughs> but I also listen to Peter Gabriel, and mm. you know, um, I listen to Alt Nation. A lot, so I get a lot of my music from there now. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I mm. listen to everything. I love music. Mm. Mm-hmm. And you sing a bit. I, I just it, yeah. found out. Mm-hmm. Yep, I oh. do. Yep, I sing some jazz with a friend of mine, Frank. Hi, Frank. Hi, Frank. Uh, oh, he plays you. guitars. He has three guitars, and we do uh, we do jazz standards. Nice. Yeah. Hmm. So, like, We're not like you. <laughs> Very cool. Not like I you. I want to come sing with you guys. Oh, okay, cool. I want to come <clears> sing with you. All right, it's a date. Okay. Um, I'll have my agent call your agent. If I had one. You have one. I don't. Um, well, she, yeah. I'll just call you. <laughs> my cat. Call my cat. I'll call your kitty. Yeah, she's home. Um, okay, Morgan. If a movie was made about your life, mm-hmm. what genre would it be, and who would you like to have star as you? It would be a romantic comedy. And um, you asked me this question before, and I said Judy Dench, but now I want somebody. You can trade it up. I, can I trade it up? <laughs> Um, <laughs> probably, uh, oh, what's her name? Melissa McCarthy. <laughs> Melissa McCarthy. Yeah. Oh my gosh, she is so funny. Yeah, she's wow. a riot. Yeah. She's a riot. Mm-hmm. Or a funny lady. It would be a funny mm-hmm. lady mm-hmm. with sort of a tragic bent. <laughs> <laughs> that should be hard to locate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There are a lot of, uh, remember Bridesmaids? Oh yeah. Yeah. That kind of genre. Mm-hmm. Where you know the, the I wanna, female lead I is. I want to see that movie. Yeah, you mm-hmm. kind of you haven't seen that movie. No, I meant the one with you in it. Oh, the one with me. Of course, I've seen Bridesmaids three times. Yeah, <laughs> right. It's a great movie. It is. It's uh-huh. so funny. Yeah. All right. Tell them out there in Etherland, um, Internet Land, your website. Oh, www.morgancallenrogers.com. Imagine is that my website. <laughs> mm-hmm. It has events. Uh, and trying to put more reviews up on it. Mm-hmm. Um, hopefully I can somehow, you know, have this lovely interview on it at some point. Oh, yeah. But yeah. For sure. So that's where it is. Yeah. So I, again, now here's what happened to me. Elizabeth told me about these books. Mm-hmm. And now I have them. But I didn't realize when I, I just, you know, started reading one of them and didn't realize they were sort of in order. Um, so, but I kind of like that I went, I'm going backwards. Oh, you is, did? Yeah, okay, I did. Good. That works read too this, then. Huh? Yeah, I read this first. Oh, and then I read, well, I'm finishing reading this one. This is my, my bookmark. Mm-hmm. Um, anyway, I recommend. It's really lovely. And as summer's coming up, ooh, these are particularly kind of oh, nice summer These reads. are so summer mm. books. If you are coming mm. to Maine. Oh, yeah, I yeah. I highly recommend these books. So, tourists. <laughs> <laughs> or main visitors, if you want to main anyone, main really, I highly recommend them. Me Not too. because I just I wrote them, but they really are great books. Yeah, they're great, <laughs> and books. they're very main books. Yeah, and you, you know, mm-hmm. I worked very hard at that. Yeah, to make them main books. They, so. They're very. It's a lot mean of books. humor and a lot of heart. It's not drippy or sentimental. That's true. Um, That's really true. Eat a lot of lobster. Or, <laughs> you know, there are lobster. There's lobster in there. But I think what it you feel, you feel like you are somewhere. You know Terry Tempest Williams? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, who, yeah. You know, she talked about the importance always of just uh, when writing has a, a strong sense of place mm-hmm. and how, how great it is to be in a book that has a really strong place identity mm-hmm. location that you yeah. can put yourself in. That's mm-hmm. how I feel in your books. Like a, oh, cool. You're really great. Yeah, well, right I'm there. glad. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, I'm Lisa Redfern. This has been episode 40 of A Conversation in a Cookie with a Creative Mainer. You've been ginger snapped, Morgan. How do you feel? Mm-hmm. I feel great. I feel great. Good. It's it's been good talking to you. Good. All right. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Okay, here's our goodbye theme song. This has been Ginger Snap. Boom.